Hey, welcome back. This is Cyberpunk in episode 77. It's not, it's rogue. You know, I don't typically see strong arming as the best way to get results. Uh. Still, sometimes you're left with no choice but force. There's this scuzz bag needs to be reined in. A sadist on a corporate leash. A real hemorrhoid on Night City's ass. Do us all a favor and handle this contract. Details are attached. Details are attached. Gun for hire, Vic Vega. At first I thought it was just rumors and the kind of drunken bullshit you hear at a bar at 3am, you know? But when you hear the same story from three separate witnesses, you start taking an interest. Now that my inform informant confirmed the accounts, it's time to dive into the action. Look, I don't want to sound like some naggy old crone, but back in my day workers knew how to stand up for themselves instead of fixers. They had unions to fight for their rights. I know, I know anyway, and now with the unions gone, these workers can't afford to hire fixers, fixers on starvation level salaries. Luck of them, I like to do some pro bono work from time to time, you know, a little something for the good public good. Onto the fine deeds, Vic Vega, the kind of scum who writes cracking skulls in the hobby section of his CV. Well, that's exactly what he's doing in Rancho Coronado. Cracking skulls. Not only that, but he's got the full backing of the Corp XX. Who'd rather give the workers brain damage instead of a 2% raise? Vega and his people have been terrorizing the whole neighborhood. Workers have had enough. Who the fuck would agree, wouldn't agree? You're gonna find Vic Vega and end that cycle for good. Maybe then the Corpos will realize they crossed the line. Absolutely. Let's reload this shotgun first. C Team's building. You'll have the rest in a second. I'm sorry, do you have an appointment? Looking for Vic. Looking for Vic. Vic, Vic. You what got damn whore! Uh, I'm sorry. Nice. Anything else fun out here before we go in? There's really nothing to pick up in these offices. It feels weird. Anything out in the lunchroom? What's this? Ooh, ram jolts. Nice. Some food. There's gotta be a couple of more hostiles here. Been quiet for a while though. Find Vic Vega, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna do that. Hang on a second. 7A, there's no fucking FF. BD, BD then. Ah, fuck this. Sometimes you just start in the wrong end. Why is there no money here? I want money. What's 
this? Ooh, bathroom. I'm sorry. Did you not want to die? This is the other bathroom then. This. What the hell is that? Sorry. How could you not have um uh, long scope? Ooh, can we turn off no we cannot. Find Vic Vega. Okay, so there was intel in there that pointed us to his office. Which is upstairs. Sorry. Did you not want to die? How can these guys just stand around like this? Basically, no one gets alerted. I don't know what the fuck I've done, but everyone's just standing. I'm just running around shooting them. Except for that one guy who apparently just saw me. Is there no freaking money here? I want money. Is laughing at me. <laughs> Those grenades are lovely. As they actually die. Like, pretty straight off. Someone is firing at me. look at it look at him go take his body to the designated location oh another guy here I'm sorry you, you can't take a bullet to the head what really how's that how's that not possible transports on its way yes Let's search his office. Yes, Euro dollars. Thank you. That's what I've been looking for. What's this? I don't really need a lot, but okay. The fuck are we gonna carry him? He's so fucking huge. Well. Fixers transports. Absolutely. Speaking in tongues, V, I've said no blood, not among sieves. They've suffered enough. Although the what? end can justify the means, sometimes. Let's hope that's the case here. Contract closed, but for future reference, a light touch can still get the job done. She did not say there couldn't be blood spill. Yeah, 
Knock, knock. That's him. Listen up. Got a corpo in dire need. Our boy, he got sick. Ended up in a wheelchair. Now he's reaching for his boss's fat wallet. Now that, I can get down with. But what do you say? We're not about to leave him hanging, are we? Deeds attached. Okay. Steal an automated Z-Attack vehicle. Okay. We get so, better get some tissues ready. This one's gonna be a real tearjerker. Pedro Aymar, a guy who thinks he's some kind of Nova Netrunner because he coded a few algorithms for Z-Attack. Well, now he wants to clap their ass. It's not what you think. See, he has some kind of health problems and Z-Attack doesn't want to chip in for his operation. Crazy right, a corp that doesn't give a shit about its employee, it's practically speechless. I'm practically speechless. Well, now look at that. Tears are splashing onto my screen. This is a life and death situation, V. Pedro needs our help. He and we really need the eddies. Pedro wants to clap a set attack truck full of A-grade tech. Already got a buyer. Meet up with Pedro and figure out how you want to play this. If you help him, our readiness to help a poor soul in need will be handsomely rewarded. So, we're gonna meet him at this motel. Gonna figure out how we want to do this. Did El Capitan send you? Yep. Yes. I'm V. One moment, please. Can I please take this? Sorry. Be right with you. What's all this? Why am I waiting? You hacked these surveillance cams? What's all this? I'm Baldi's a dealer, Blondie's living in the motel. You always just talk to yourself? Hmm? Oh, uh, right. I wanted to make sure you weren't followed. I think we're okay. Ah, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Pedro. And you want to pull us out of the heist. You can still back out if you got cold feet. El Cap tells me you're running a jump. Could use some help. Mm-hmm. I'd like to, uh, borrow a company truck. You want to rob your employer? Well, yes, but not so loud, please. Ever done anything like this? You need to be chill. This is your first time, right? A jump like this? <laughs> Perfect. But I'm well prepared. Okay then, what's your plan? Zedatek will find out it was you. This is an act of war against a megacorp. You prepared to deal with the blowback? <laughs> they won't let this go. I know. Okay then. What's your plan? Right, the plan. Uh, here's what I have so far. Our target is an automated Zeta Tech transport hauling AV thrusters. Its route changes daily via a randomizer. So how do we track it? I refactored the randomizer. I know how it'll work. Sure, so you can predict its path. Then what? I'll stop the truck first, then breach its system. Where do I come in? You'll be there waiting already. You'll hop in and follow my instructions to steal it. What's on the chip? What's on it? Chinese icebreaker. Should punch a hole in Zeta Tech security. Can't hack our... their... truck without it. What do you need these glow holes for, anyway? They're not too big, easy to sell, and well, worth hundreds of thousands. A drop in the bucket for the higher-ups, but for me... It'll change my life. Where should I wait for the truck? Place called Kenmore Cafe, up front. The truck should drive by around 5 p.m. every day for the next few days. I'll call once you're there. Hmm. Pedro, let me be real for a sec. You're clearly not the rebel type. Why do this? I'd rather not talk about it. Uh, no worries. All right, no worries. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, count me in. Be in touch soon. Thanks. Remember, intersection just before Kenmore's Cafe. Five sharp. Be there. Be there or be square. Ah, oh, now I can take that. Be at Kenmore's Diner at 5 p.m. Absolutely. 9.59 p.m. Ah, We're gonna have to wait almost a, couple, a whole day. It's not even that far.
Perhaps he didn't dine and wait for Pedro's call. Absolutely. Sit and wait. And I said it for like what twenty hours. It's me. I know. Okay. Eyes on that intersection. Go to the truck now. Take the passenger seat. I'm in. Slot the splinter to the right of the wheel. Done. God damn it. Talk to me, Pedro. One sec. One sec. Got it. I have control. I'll drive. So I just kick back, soak in the view? Eyes open. Cocksuckers could show up any minute. Leave the car at Tire... 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 Tire Empire? Rampire. Tire Empire. Mierda, mierda, mierda. Oh no, I'm Easy, gonna have Pedro. to shoot. No way. Holy shit, that sucks. Puncture. They, they, the runner's on me. You handle it. Take the wheel. Got it. All right, there. Yeah. Let's just hope we yeah. don't have to shoot someone. Keep going until the end. Okay. To leave the car here, but they are apparently my enemy. Everything okay? One sec, do you let me fucking reload? Um, I don't think this is the way it's supposed to be going. Because I can't do anything. I'll call you back. Talk to Pedro. Huh. I can't even... Now I can bring up my gun. No, I can only bring... What? I don't have a gun? What the fuck happened to my shotgun? So that wh that's why I can bring it up. Te vamos a matar, pendeja. <laughs> it just fucking die already. Okay. I'm gonna die. I can arrange that. Travels. A thousand times, thanks. 
The longer we chit chat, the easier it is for Zeta Tech to track us. Again. Of, of course. Over and out. Yeah, see ya. Okay. Beautifully done, V. Don't know about Pedro, but I consider you my hero already. See, V? Play your cards right, you'll always walk away with full pockets. Closing the gig. Judy? So, V, I need to tell you something. Shoot! You're a new sleeper agent. Sounds like the start of every backup text I've ever gotten. And you just got burned bad. All you can do now is wipe your files, cover your tracks, and flee the city of broken promises, never to return. What? Great story, but no. Anyway, it's just that. Okay, so you know I'm not great with feelings and stuff, but I've been thinking about the past few months, and I want to say thanks, V, for being with me, for everything you've done, and just for being you. You're great, just wanted you to know that. But now I gotta go hide somewhere. I'm all flushed. Wait, what? Gotta go hide somewhere? Aw, my sweet little vulnerable... Vulnerable Lilu Bean. <gasps> Lilu. You're no, you're great. Jesus Christ, stop. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I don't know what Lilu Bean is, but Lilu is not the um Um isn't that character from uh, the fifth element, the movie. Isn't she named Lilu? Me. Coda Smith. I have a job. The urgent kind. Someone is yanking my friend's drones out of the sky. Check out the coordinates. Find out who is responsible. The details are attached. Agent Saboteur, eliminate cause for drone disappearance. Okay. A good friend of mine, Mosquito, is running an op in the Badlands. Packed the chem shipment in a drone and sent it off to the city. Then when he gets his eddies wired, he sliced off a piece for me. The problem now is those drones aren't making roast, roost at their destinations. Someone's plucking them out of the sky along the way. We sent the last drone with a GPS tag, the thieves took the bait and we're getting pinged from the transmitter. You follow that ping, then make sure mosquitoes birds can fly free once again. I'm gonna take that as a... Uh, let's do assist mode. And let's start tagging people. Tag. 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 Where do we have more people? Hey, don't shoot at me. Let them clear up themselves for a little bit. Sniper up there. Reloaded. Gotta take him out. Take the side. <laughs> 
blood or nothing. Damn, he's hard to kill. Fucking camera. Find out how the drones. Okay. Turn that off. There's a the camera over there somewhere. Turn that off. your head out. You can do it. No, you can. It's like shooting through the wall or something. Appreciate it. Let's get in this building. Euro dollars, Euro dollars. Food. I need the box. Euro dollars. Some more Euro dollars here. hole here. I know there's no way going back. Oh, I can open that. Hello. What's this? Vinyl records. Oh, there's a fucking camera. That's what's seeing me.
So we're going even higher. There's one guy. You wanna maybe turn around? Huh? Okay. Transmitter takes me back. How so? Back in 2020, we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies. Hmm. So this must be how Wrath and Shiv hacked those guns. I was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. Hmm. Why the antenna? Did they say she's at the top? What the? Someone arrive. That not hit him. Not my the car, is it? roots are safe and secure again. The contract is closed and closed well. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make her drink. Now, I've been trying to work with Iris Tanner for years, but the stubborn mare always brushes me off. Oh, kind crap. requests, the promise of good pay, none of it helped. Always the same response. I don't do biz with fixers. But today she has changed her tune. <laughs> and why? She's been kidnapped by wraiths. Pettiness aside, if you help her, I bet she will finally toss me a bone. The gig details are attached. Go fetch V. Hey, rescue Iris Tanner. Iris Tanner is the best tech specialist I've met in decades of living outside the city. Car broke down, trouble with water filters, ailing generator, call Iris and give her few five minutes with it. One thing she is not great with though, people reading them at least. Foolish girls started doing this with the rates, making them angry is bad, sure, but making them happy is almost worse. Rodan just pay for a job well done, they kidnapped her instead. You ask why they kidnapped someone who's capable of putting out an SOS from a rickety old radio? I, Dakota Mad Coyote Smith, eldest daughter of the Pomo tribe, eldest fixer in the Badlands, will offer my expert opinion. They're stupid. Okay, well, let's scan this place, see what we've got. I saw something up here. Let's do that in assist mode. And let's disarm these. Oh, hit it. Great. Now, 
should be able to. I can see something else up here. I think I saw something scanning. Hostile area, no shit. Disarm. That's already disarmed. Find Iris Tanner. Will do. Is there anything we can see from here? Like crate. Is there just this one guy out here? You pissed off the wrong guy. Can't be true. Knew there were more. Leave her. She's mine. A fucking grenade. I'll sell you for scrap. Where did you come from? That was the wrong button. I don't didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. Funny shard. Supposed to get you out of here. That guy doesn't have anything. Huh? Uh, they didn't hurt you. They didn't you. hurt you. No, we were still in the negotiation phase. They made a pretty solid case, so it was only a matter of time. Push came to shove. I'd rather slave under Raffin than be chopped into little pieces. We best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast, this ride of yours. No, it wasn't the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast either. Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. We'll see how things play out. Sure. Free virus car optional. Absolutely, we'll do that. That shouldn't be a problem. Everyone else should be dead already, except for... There's supposed to be more turrets. Yep, there's one. Assist mode. Now uh, there's supposed to be another one. There it is. So, three turrets, they're all in assist mode. Nice. Okay, Iris' car in the garage. Thanks for taking care of my ride. Don't mention it. Why didn't you want to work with Dakota before? I'm not crazy about fixers. Might as well be pimps without the special favors. Right. Prefer lining up my own clients, playing by my own rules. When you're a lone wolf, there's no fixers waiting to steal a cut of your hard earned cash. So I take it this is an exception? And the last, hopefully.
Lake Iris Town to Dakota. Doing that after we park the car then. Dakota's garage. Chamai, sister. Dakota. Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. You two get along perfectly. Well, don't you two just get along perfectly? Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Just make sure you get what she owes you. V has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. Yes? Talk to me. Hey, what? Thought nomads were always on the move, but... You stayed put? Yes. They call us statics, but we are also necessary. Somebody must take care of those who come and go. Yeah. Take care of them for the right cut. Indeed. Well, let's leave. Electric bonus from the drop point, and that is far away. V, it's Tanner. Thanks for handling my ride. As a token of my appreciation, I stashed a little something for you in the drop point by the Sunset Motel. I reckon that makes us even righty. righty -o. Take care. So, whatever the bonus is, this is what we got for... Um, uh, also, taking Iris's car with us. Van. Let's go check that out. What the bonus is. Gotta be money, I guess, but how much? Select reward. We've got what? Oh, we got components. Okay. 